On days 9, 10, and 11 of my 11-day Northern Vietnam motorcycle touring trip, I traveled from Miovac to Bang Giac Waterfalls, then to Lake Babe on day 10, and finally to Hanoi on day 11. I took much less video on these days because on day 9, I was sick from food poisoning and only got 2 hours of sleep the night before. On day 10, I recovered and slept 12 hours, so got started really late. And on day 11, I was traveling back to Hanoi. Day 9, leaving Miovac, 240 kilometers today to Bang Giac Falls. So the sun's out. Two days of clouds and rain and the sun's out. Dinner last night and it made me sick, so all night I didn't sleep. Half the night I didn't sleep, and then I had other issues the second half of the night. They gave me drugs in the morning, so I got an hour and a half of sleep, 7 to 8 30, and I'm leaving about an hour later than I normally do right now. I am Flip Flop Navigator here to share my travel and adventures with you. We will go wherever my flip flops take us, preferably to the less known, off the beaten path places, living by the motto. The destination is the journey. I hope you enjoy my adventures, and maybe, just maybe, they will inspire you to go on an adventure of your own. So I've been riding, this is my ninth day. And I don't know how I've done it, but somehow I've survived without keeping my horse. I've still got two days left to ride, so we'll see. I'm not going to call it yet, but I'm fairly certain that you don't need to be your horse on every corner and you can still survive. After being sick the night before on day nine, I was very tired, didn't eat hardly at all, and only drank water all day. My homestay in Miovac wasn't a homestay, it was a hotel with no kitchen, so they took me over to a restaurant where I had a set meal that got me sick about an hour after I ate. The next morning, I messaged the tour company asking where there was a pharmacy, what time it opened, and what I needed to buy. A short time later, the owner of the hotel brought me a bunch of drugs and some tea. Thankfully, the fluid stopped gushing out of my body and I was able to sleep an hour and a half before taking off at 8.30 a.m. Later in the day, the tour company messaged me that the owner of the hotel felt bad and asked how I was doing. They also said she didn't charge me for the dinner. Day 9! Recovering from food poisoning, so I'm out of it. Not stopping much, but I one third of the way, so I stopped to get some water. In this area, I went by lots of something being dried on the side of the road. I rode by about five of these what looked to be wedding parties on this trip. At this point, I was very happy to see the end of the trip on the GPS. I was 108 kilometers in and ready for a nap. When I arrived at my hotel, I was told I was supposed to stay in a different hotel and given rudimentary directions. I finally found that hotel, which was a nice homestay, but they told me I wasn't staying there, so I used their Wi-Fi to call the tour company who told me to go to a different hotel where I was finally able to check in and it was very nice. Getting the runaround to three different hotels wasted a lot of time, so I wasn't able to visit the Bangyak waterfalls as planned. After not eating all day, I was finally feeling a little better, and the hotel's dinner had fried chicken and salad, which was just the comfort food I needed at that time. After dinner, I went back to my room and fell asleep for 12 glorious hours. On day 10, I got a nice breakfast, packed my stuff, and rode from Bangyak waterfalls to Lake Babe. This is the reason I came all the way here today. I had food boys in the day before, so I ended up sleeping 12 and a half hours last night. But now as I'm leaving my hotel, I see it. No one's swimming, it's too cold, it's 10 degrees anyway. I'll be back. Look, another wedding party. Stopped off to get my chain tightened and oiled. Google Translate made this a very easy task every time. I was supposed to have another rest day at Babe Lake, but the day before I let the tour company know I wanted to cancel the rest day and stay only one night so I could get back to Hanoi a day earlier. This must be the knife district because I passed seven stores with knives in the last few hundred meters. If this video makes you want to get off the couch and come check out the Hajian Loop, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Now we're heading back towards civilization because there's a gas station every 10 kilometers instead of every 50 or 60. I've arrived at Lake 
Bobe, my destination for the night. I think that is where I'm going, right over there. at Babe Lake View Resort, my last night before heading back to Hanoi tomorrow. I was supposed to stay here two nights and I said I don't need a day of rest. I'm heading back tomorrow. Here's Babe Lake. It took me five and a half hours. It was supposed to be 220 kilos and it was 217. When I checked in, I didn't end up staying in the homestay I was supposed to, but instead was sent next door. But they had me eat dinner at the original hotel I was supposed to stay in. I had a tasty dinner and several shots of rice wine with the owner of the hotel and enjoyed this local dance show. Day 11 and the final day of my trip heading to Hanoi. I was anxious to get back to Hanoi and the country soon turned to city so the kilometers went by fast. I was extra careful and counted my blessings for having such a safe tour. Okay, leaving for breakfast, early start. There's Babe Lake to my left. Kind of an odd thing just happened. Uh, I was eating dinner last night and the owner came and introduced himself to me and told me canceling tomorrow because I'm going back in the early isn't a problem. Even though they're charging me a cancellation fee for a weekend, I'd rather get out of here and get to Hanoi and get my passport and my bag back and get checked in the hotel and check into my flight tomorrow. Down. I don't know why some cities have only the Vietnam flag and some have the Vietnam and the communist flag. Lots of bananas. Going to market. I arrived in Hanoi, turned in a motorcycle, took a taxi to the travel office to get my passport and luggage and was happy to be greeted by my tour guide who wanted to get a debrief on how I liked the tour. We chatted a bit, then I was off to my hotel to drop my bags and out for a little walk around Hanoi. The evening ended eating dinner overlooking the lake where John McCain's plane was shot down in 1967. Stay tuned for my things I wish I knew before I rode the Hajian Loop video, coming soon. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to